name is Shaz and this is Shazness Wellness. I'm all about promoting individual wellness. I started this page because I was battling with a lot of health issues. I have PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome. I had candida yeast overgrowth, irritable bowel syndrome, and a lot of gut and hormone problems. So I just started keeping it real and sharing my life and sharing my updates and stories. So that's what my channel is all about, just really keeping you in the loop with my health and what is going on in my life. So as of right now, I am 35 weeks pregnant uh, with my first and it is a boy. I am excited and nervous and all of the feelings. And in this video, I wanna show you the nursery tour because I've promised to share on my channel. A few things that I want to explain about the nursery before I give you a tour. One, we live in a rented home, so we don't own this home, we rent it and we rent an entire house, which is a great option for us. Um, I actually got pregnant right after we moved into this house, so it worked out perfectly because we do have three bedrooms. So we have our bedroom, a spare bedroom, and now the nursery, which was supposed to be an office, but a little baby now. <laughs> so the fact that we're renting, we didn't want to do any wallpaper or painting because it is not our home. We don't know how long we'll be here and um, we just didn't want to go that route because again, it's not ours. The second thing that I want to mention and just keeping it straight up is we're on a very strict budget. This was an unexpected miracle and financially we feel a little stressed out. So we did everything we can to make sure that our baby has all that it needs, um, but still we're smart with our items and try to keep it budget friendly as possible. We did have a baby shower, which we are extremely blessed and grateful for. So a lot of the stuff in our nursery was given to us and I'll explain as I go along what was given, what was bought, where we bought certain things and how we made sure to stay within a low budget um, as much as possible. All right, so without further ado, let's do a full nursery tour. So the very first thing is this beautiful rocking chair, which was very generously given to us by one of my friends at work. So I'm super grateful for this rocking chair. Um, here is Pluto that we were given from our baby shower and a little pillow here for my back because I just notice when I sit in the rocking chair, my back gets a little sore and it's like a, a good support. So this little area will be used probably for nursing um, and just maybe rocking baby to sleep. So up here, like I said, we didn't do any wallpaper or anything. So we thought the best option was to just do little paintings to put up on the walls or like little items here. This is actually from our baby shower we used and I ended up using it for the nursery. My mom bought this, which is super smart. So what these are, um, are just like little lights. So I made it very easily accessible to take it on and off. And if baby wants, I can turn it on and kind of put this up on the wall, just like as a little lamp, like a very light lamp if he's sleeping. Um, and it just adds a little bit of fun to the wall. So I'm really happy with that. All right, so over here is our crib. So I found this crib on Facebook Marketplace. It is brand new. I really liked it, it was gray and white. And when I found this on Facebook Marketplace, I thought it was perfect. So it is brand new, never used. The person that I got it from, the baby ended up co-sleeping and never ended up in a crib. So they had it, but never used it. So bought this for $200. Um, so I got the crib and the mattress for $200, which is an amazing deal. Saved a lot here with the crib. And then these two paintings here, again, were given to us uh, for one of my good friends from the baby shower. And I loved it because it was black and white. And I just love the little motivational quotes here. I think it just adds a little bit to this wall. Um, yeah, so I'm really happy with how this turned out. So I don't know if you guys can see outside, but... I live in Toronto and yeah, it is crazy cold right now. All the snow happened this morning. So that is what my baby will be seeing when he's first born, but c'est la vie. 
Anyways, over here is where I took the most time to figure out. So we ended up buying these dressers at Ikea and I absolutely love them. Um, they were $99 each. So I ended up spending $200 on that. And then I had to, I just had to get organizers. Oh my gosh, just look how cute and put together this is. Nothing makes me happier than organizers. So, I ended up washing all of the stuff we got from our baby shower. So, none of this was bought. Again, so grateful. This was all given to us from our baby shower. So, how I organized this was all footed onesies here. These are all newborn or zero to three month sizes. These are onesies here, either short sleeves or long sleeves. So, for example, they look like this. Oh my God, just so cute. Um, so really good to wear just at home or maybe like under clothes. And I just rolled them to make them look cute and organized it that way. These are uh, swaddle blankets, uh, but you can use them for anything from what I've learned. I've watched so much YouTube. These are uh, like kind of like a miscellaneous. These are mittens and hats. Like look at these little mittens, oh my gosh. And then these are all of his socks. So that's in the first drawer. In here, again, all of his clothes are washed. These are clothes that are zero to three months or three to six months. Um, so I didn't wanna to put too much in here because I just wanna take one day at a time and not be overwhelmed with clothes. These are all blankets, so multiple kind of use things. These are sheets, and these are some other clothes that we got. Um, I haven't washed yet, but again, for maybe when he's older. These are little bear shoes, so cute. Yeah, so that's this. And then in this last drawer here, again, just some random stuff. So here is a baby monitor that we need to learn to put together. There is the thermometer that we got um, to take baby's temperature. These are organizers for the closet that I haven't done yet. And then we got this kit for our baby shower. But if you know me and Shazness Wellness, I'm stickler for skin ingredients. So I won't be using this. I will be selling this or trying to give it back to Walmart um, from where it was bought. Um, I'm really grateful for it, but I'm just, I'm very picky with my skin products, especially for my baby. So that will be going back. So in here, oh, look how beautiful this looks. I, I love organizers. So these are all burp cloths and uh, bibs. These are all washcloths for the bathroom. These are towels and hooded towels. And then these are random things. So this is uh, like a passy cradle. So where you can put a pacifier to go. These are some pacifiers and soothies. This is for his nose boogers to kind of scoop him out. And then I think here are some samples I got. Um, hair and body wash and dish liquid. So yeah, this was generously given to us, which is like a little ducky um, that you put in the bath and you can know the temperature of the bath so that baby's not too hot or too cold. Our friend gave us this ball for him to play with. And then I got this bottle here as a sample in one of the kits I signed up for. Um, yeah. In here is uh, breast pump stuff and carriers. And then down here I stacked up on wipes, diapers, and diapers. You can never have enough. And what my aunt and a lot of people have recommended is Costco brand, which is the Kirkland brand. Um, it's affordable if you have a Costco card and um, that apparently the diapers work great. So that is that. Up here we have a changing pad. So I thought it was smartest money wise to buy a dresser instead of getting a change table because he can use these dressers for many years after in his bedrooms. So I just got this, it was like 20 or 30 bucks from Walmart, um, waterproof change pad. And then a big thing that Brandon wanted was a diaper genie. So somewhere to store all the diapers um, that 
you know, so it doesn't stink up the room. And our garbage cycle is every two weeks, so we needed somewhere to store diapers that wouldn't stink up the house. <laughs> And then here's a little diaper caddy. I love it so much. Gray and white again with little elephants. Um, so here are some diapers already made. And then I will most likely be using just coconut oil for moisturizing for my baby and diaper rash. But I did get this diaper rash cream um, in a sample kit that again I got. I'm not sure how I feel about the ingredients. Um, I will most likely use this, but you can't you can't predict everything. I'm gonna have to just go with the flow and do what's best for baby. Um, so this is again just wipes, and then one of my friends bought this, which is so cute, little Simba here. She knows I'm Lion King obsessed. Lastly, we have this shelf here, and this shelf was put up for office purposes. So I do have a few of the books and my journals here, but I just kept them because he's not gonna have that much stuff right away. Um, we got these for my family members, so cute, uh, just to have in the nursery here. These are some toys that Brandon had as a child. Brandon is my partner, and uh, so cute to pass him on. These are just too cute, little baby Timberlands. I absolutely love it. Over here is this wall hanger of organizers. I don't have anything in here yet, but I'm gonna have to just, again, go day by day and see what's best for me and baby and find a flow. I know I'll find use for this as he gets older. There's gonna just get more and more stuff. So I'm keeping that here. And then over here is just a laundry bin. And um, more clothes here. So all of these clothes are for when he's older. I didn't want to put everything in the drawers and overwhelm the drawers. Just keep them organized and then take things out of here as he grows out of them and put them in here and then maybe give them away to charity or friends as he grows out of things. Lastly, I just want to show you guys inside his closet. I did my very best to organize everything again. I got, I got these little baby hangers. Like they're so cute. Again, from the baby shower. And I just hung up and washed some of these clothes. These were given to me by a really generous friend. She just had a baby and he just grew out of these already. So she gave me those. Here again are all of his little outfits that don't need to go in the dresser because they're special outfits. So this one's so cute. And this one, oh my gosh. So it comes with a little Batman hat and little Batman leggings. So adorable. So yeah, these are more like going out outfits. I got a really big tip from a lot of people. Don't overbuy clothes because they don't wear outfits very much. They wear so much of sleepers and onesies because you're mostly home. You know, they're mostly sleeping and getting dirty and pooping themselves. So that's that. Over here is the tub that we got. It's like a four in one tub here. So it grows as he grows. We haven't opened it yet because it's like, we'll open it when he's here. And then back here are some gifts that we got. Just some really cute stuff like right here. Um, like my memory book. Little picture frames here to put his little feet and hand prints. And then in here is just like all extra stuff that uh, we don't need right away. Like for example, someone kindly gave us this for our next Christmas. Little ornaments and just like extra stuff in here that I didn't want to clutter the bedroom with. So the closet is pretty basic. Again, just as little outfits and I kept it as organized as possible. We're very lucky that this closet has like little steps like this which make it easier to keep clean and organized. As I said, I'm a first time mom, so maybe some of the things that I have here are gonna be really useful, maybe some things I'll never use. I've watched so many YouTube videos about like newborn necessities and nurseries and what to put in the nursery. Um, so I did the best that I could based on my knowledge and just trying to be as minimalistic as possible, just getting necessities. And I wanna just get things as I go because I've heard a lot of people get and buy so much before the baby comes and for example, they'll buy swaddlers and a lot of swaddlers and then baby doesn't like being swaddled. So I'm trying to just be mindful of that. Everything we got from the shower, I'm putting to use as best as I can and then I will buy as I go. I don't know what I'm doing, you know, I've never done this before and I'm just doing what I think is best and getting what I think I should be getting, what I've been told I should be getting, but at the end of the day, 
when I have the baby, I have to just do what's best for us. And I know it's hard on YouTube to talk about motherhood and parenthood because everyone's gonna have their own opinions. But I appreciate you guys for just uh, letting me be me and expressing myself non-judgmentally. And I really love having you guys along the journey. So if there's any videos you want me to make, I'd be happy to make them. I'm so grateful that you've watched this video, especially if you've made it to the end. I love you guys. I really do. I believe we're all one and I'm excited for more videos to come. Thank you again for watching. I make videos every single Wednesday. So would love if you could subscribe and just tune in. Give me a thumbs up if this was a video you enjoyed or found helpful. And that is it. Sending love. XOXO Shazness Mollis. Bye.